Hey guys, let's assess the damages from my crashed drone. Okay guys, I got to looking at this drone, it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, it's worse than I thought because when I first looked at it, I didn't have my glasses on. Number one, this piece goes in the bottom here, like that, and it only had one in it, <laughs> so the other three got popped out, and I really had to pull this one out to get it out, man. So, but, as you can see, oh shit, that wing right there, that wing tip, It's hitting the arm. Also, if you look under here, which I have new blades, these all come with new blades. So that blade, I'm guessing that's where it hit. That was the impact. And see how that one is real far away. But when you spin it around, so right here, this is bent. The motor's bent. Also, right there's the there's the crack in the arm but I got to looking up under here I don't know if the camera yeah big crack there so I don't know guys let's let's get you down here and hear that let's get uh, let, let's take this apart and see if there's any way I can straighten that or if I can buy a motor until I can get, I want to get a Phantom, is what I really want. My niece has got one, it's actually my nephews, they're wanting to sell it. So I'm trying to get the money for it. Uh, it's a pretty nice one, but I've always wanted a Phantom, so I don't know. Uh, but that that will be my next drone as a Phantom. But like I say, this, this was just a cheap $60 drone. And uh, I've had this thing as high as 210 feet. And uh, it has a homing device on it. It would come back home to you. And if it couldn't, it would ping ping your phone, let you know where you're at. So, all right, guys, let's get it down here and see what we can do with this thing. All right, guys, get you down here. Let's get you on the little handheld tripod thing. All right, let's first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this blade off. And you can see right there where that that was hitting there. Now this had guards that kind of came out like this and kind of went in like that. You know, they came out like that. It did have guards on it, but I took them off. Because I, <laughs> I mean, it's only, I lost it one time. I got it back. But, uh. I've never actually hit anything was it like I hit that fire tower so hopefully you guys can hear me so let's let's go ahead we'll try not to lose these screws um, I had a thing up here here let's put them down inside of that for now that's my base plate for one of my tripods so we're just gonna set them in that I don't know if these all need to come off or not because most of the screws are underneath uh, that's where your battery goes and that thing was jammed way up in there so I don't know if there's any damages in that there's a bunch of screws underneath here they go around there and there 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 so I'm gonna take these out and let's let's see where we go from there there's a couple there and we'll, we'll take it from there alright guys we've got all the screws out there. there's 26 screws in the bottom of this thing every one of them holes had a screw in it so let's take this apart I'm not sure if 
you know, the top has everything in it, or the bottom. It looks to me, from if I look down in there, looks like everything's mounted on the top except for these lights. So, let's go ahead and pull this off like this. Well, I was wrong. Not good guys. So I have assessed the damages. Looks like it, it got some sand in there. Can you see that? Down around that motor. Okay, the damage the damages I'm assessing is <laughs> sixty bucks because <laughs> it's totaled. But uh, I don't know, <laughs> I imagine you can buy parts for something like this, but is it really worth it because, you know, this arm is bent way down, so, I mean, there's a bend in it right there, you can see that crack, right in there, see that crack, so, I mean, yeah, this feels a little, a little gunky. And monkey's back. See her sand down in there. That's from landing and taking off, guys. Which I probably should just held it. A lot of times I would just take it off, just uh, let it take off off the uh, toolbox of the truck. Or I would hold it in my hand and take it off. But sometimes I would set it on the ground. That's just a little bit. I mean, look at that. That's full of sand. That might be from when it crashed. Uh, when it actually crash landed itself out in that field. But, wow. This one is the one that's bent here. See that? Let me show you that. I don't know if I can straighten this out, guys, but we're going to try it. Let me let me get this all blown out with compressed air, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But I think it's uh, pretty much a wall hanger now. So <laughs> look at that old camera, isn't that neat? That's the camera. Look how tiny that thing is. I mean, compared to the screwdriver, it's... Alright, guys. Hang tight. <laughs> A little wobbly. To, I told her I mowed. She said, no, I'll, I'll go mow. She likes to get on that thing and ride it around. She loves her old John Deere. <laughs> Alright, back to the project. Okay, guys. We got it back together. I put some glue on the inside of this and on the outside. I used this stuff. Let it sit up for an hour. Now on the inside, I also used E6000, which sets up in like 24 hours. But I think this may be good enough to to try. Um, now these things, if you'll see, if you can see right there's an A, and down here will be an A, and then across from it's an A, and then the other two are Bs. Now they're labeled, so if you got one of these, you're going to take them off. Don't get them mixed up or it won't fly. So, what we're going to do is 
it's still got a slight wobble to it but nothing that I'm real concerned about but let's just see if it'll fly anyway just for fun I I don't think it's going to do too well but uh we're going to take it outside and check it. it's getting ready to rain so let's do that real quick guys it works it flies again it's a little hard to hold on to but it was also windy so but it's working there was still a little wobble in that one in the one propeller but it didn't seem to to bother it once you get it get the rpms up so i'm gonna use it <laughs> 
I mean, she bought it for me to use. I'm going to use it. So, all right, guys. There you go. That's the story of the drone. So look for more footage of the drone. So, I'm going to say, Shea Bear 1000, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Check out Monkey 1000. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.